Hey, if you're active on Instagram, watch out for this latest con. Phony companies are reaching out to users and offer, it sounds great, they're offering them perks in exchange for posting product pictures. But these e -bassiters just end up losing money. Sandra Guile with the Better Business Bureau joins us with the story from the BBB Wire. Sandy, good to see you as always. It's always my pleasure to see you as well, Bob. This is one of those it's a dream come true. It's All true. they want me to do is use their stuff, take pictures of me using take their stuff. Take a selfie. Oh I'm my gonna god! I'm going to get free yes. stuff. They're going to send yeah. me money. This is great. Yes. But it's, it's not. It's not great. It's it's too good to be true, Bob. Yeah. Come on. I mean, we all love to see your selfies, right? <laughs> we love to see you posing with products and and get a check in the mail, and you can deposit that check and make a few extra Sounds bucks. Sounds like here. a great plan. It really is. But guess what? It's not mm, real. Not always the case. Yeah. People need to be cautious with this type of thing because probably uh, there's not a whole lot of merit behind that company. Maybe that company doesn't exist. Maybe it's overseas. Maybe that product doesn't really is not real. Or if you do order that product, guess what? You have to pay for you it first pay. and you're yeah. not going to get reimbursed for it. What are, what are the red flags that really sort of stand out to you with one like this? Because it, it's so tough when people approach you online because any more websites or Instagram accounts, they can look so professional. Well, they can look so on point. And not only that, but their language is very convincing. Yeah. All you have to do is, right. you know, you can make a thousand dollars a month. You can, and all these dollar signs are ringing up in your head. But what the, some of the red flags are is maybe you can't find an actual brick and mortar address. Okay. You find a PO box. You can't find the company at all. You can't find a phone number. You can't find an actual live human being to yeah. talk to. Yeah. So you, it really is kind of like out of thin air. So question it and find other e ambassadors to talk to to say hey what's your been, what's your experience been with this company that sense of skepticism is probably going to keep you out of trouble more often than not because you're asking those questions and then obviously go to bbb.org to see if they exist see if there's been complaints uh, see what other people are saying about it and if you suspect that they might be a little scammy people yeah. have take sent money and they never saw any product back or they've gotten broken products that they can't post a selfie with it. Maybe they post something on Scam Tracker. ScamTracker.org is a great resource too. See if other people are posting things like, I got approached on Instagram about this great opportunity, but it never came to fruition. Yeah. So it's just a question it. Anybody, somebody approaches you out of the blue that you did not initiate that conversation with. And it sounds too good. And it sounds way too good. I feel good like to that's the true. thing, that's the phrase we always come back yes. to. It's, just, it's too good. It sounds, I mean, it Instagram sounds too good. is a great social medium. Sure. You share your life on there just like you do on Facebook, but it's just all pictures. Pictures, right. that's how they're going to try to entice you. All you have to do is take a picture of the product, you and the product, enjoying the product. That's all well and good if you are sincere about it and it actually exists. Nine times out of ten, it doesn't, Bob. All right, Sandy, thanks for coming in. We always You're enjoy welcome. seeing you. Always great advice. And of course, you can get more information. We'll go at local12.com. We'll put all the links you need. You can go right there. Right now, we're